Hi, YouTube, how are you? Uh, this is Dee Dee Blast, the Black Madonna, uh, SoundCloud, Gospel Talk Radio. Um, I'm coming in uh, just a few moments. Uh, this is going to be a black video. Um, I'm going to uh, try and knock uh, the stories out uh, that I wanted to do. Okay, so I have an old, a little bit of older news and I have a little bit of new news. Okay, um, the first story that I would like to start with, um, it's an involving um, a jet crash. A uh, jet with 400 passengers uh, crashes uh, just after takeoff in Cuba. Jose Marti Airport, Havana, Cuba, February 26, 2016. Uh, a Boeing 737 uh, uh, rented by uh, Cubana uh, Airlines had just uh, left Jose Marti uh, International Airport uh, outside Havana. Uh, Cuban State TV reported uh, Cubana confirmed uh, the flight uh, it definitely crashed. Um, the plane was uh, headed to the city of Holgen. On the eastern part of Cuba, uh, ambulances and firefighters are on the scene. According to state TV, uh, Cubana said it had no information on the number of passengers aboard the plane. Uh, further details, uh, they were not uh, immediately available. Um, I will uh, check in an update to see uh, actually how many people were actually uh, killed. Um, it says here in the beginning that it was 104 passengers. Okay, so it could very well uh, be uh, more uh, passengers. So uh, that's it for this story. Uh, we're just going to, um, uh, I'll check and see. Uh, I would like to know the exact amount of people uh, that perished uh, in that plane crash. Okay? Okay, so that's a story. Okay. Um this is a story about uh, Michelle Obama. Uh, Michelle Obama uh, describes herself as America's uh, forever first uh, lady on Wednesday as she addressed a crowd of uh, high school students at the college signing day uh, in Philadelphia. Uh, Obama, 54, told the crowd uh, over 8,000 high school senior students uh, at Temple University in Philadelphia that she, as the forever first lady, and the nation is um, uh, counting on them to, you know, to be successful. Um, she says, uh, we have a high hopes for you. Uh, Ms. Obama uh, stated, uh, I know you, uh, I know I know you. I know that you can't be okay. She's simply saying to the students um, that she knows uh, that they can be successful in school and they can reach for their dreams. Uh, Michelle will always be remembered um, as the first lady, popular over um, all the world. Uh, okay. Uh, well, she's doing speaking, you know, around the schools, and um, I think that's very nice. And I think the students would probably uh, appreciate, uh, you know, the president's uh, wife, the ex-president's wife, uh, is coming to their school to speak. So that's why I grabbed this story. Just to, but she said she will be forever uh, remembered. Um, I guess as the first first lady because uh, she was found out to be a man, um, but. Um, Rumor has it that uh, um, most uh, all, uh, presidents' uh, wives are uh, uh, transvestites, okay? All right, so here's another story. Now, this is a story about a restaurant owner. Uh, he's been in um, business uh, since 1950. Okay, on the door to the restaurant, he puts a sign up, no strollers, no booster chairs, and no high chairs. <laughs> okay, he doesn't want children um, in his restaurant. Okay, the restaurant uh, posted a sign outside the establishment to ensure uh, and maintain a quiet uh, atmosphere. Um, it's an old fisherman. Uh, I guess he's from Grotto. From Grotto, that must be... Um, not really sure what that uh, name would entail, Grotto. Okay, well, anyway, uh, the restaurant in California is making uh, waves uh, for its firm uh, stance on children. Those crying or making loud noises, you know, are not allowed in the restaurant dining room. Um, uh, Monetary has been, um, his name is Monetary. Monetary has been in business um, since 1950. Um, no loud children, uh, no loud noises. You know, he wants it to be um, a quiet atmosphere. So basically what he's saying to you is you, you can't bring your children in his restaurant to eat. 
You know, whether they need a high chair, a booster, a stroller. No, thank you. The man doesn't want it. Okay. Uh, so he's been practicing this um, since the 50s. Um, it's 2018. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's kind of strange. Um, hmm. The more the monkey climb, you can see his ass. Uh, I think that's a um, prejudice thing I do. And I don't think that that's right. I think we should be able to bring our children, whether they're toddlers or whatever they are, um, into a restaurant to eat. So um, I guess they're not going to do anything about that. So we'll leave that. We'll leave that. Just don't eat there, okay? Okay. Now, a uh, teacher is fatally shot um, in her mom's driveway on Mother's Day. I'm sure you guys heard of this. Um, a teacher in uh, Alaquipa, uh, uh, Pennsylvania, was fatally shot in her mother's driveway on Sunday night, according to multiple reports. Uh, Rachel uh, Del Tondo, uh, 32, was coming home from getting um, ice cream uh, with a friend on Mother's Day. As she got out of the car... An unidentified assaultant uh, shot her multiple times. Okay, neighbors reported uh, having between 10 and 12, uh, heard with, uh, at least 10 to 12 shots um, by this gun. Uh, family and friends uh, rushed out to help her. Uh, she passed at 10.30 p.m. Uh, Delatano worked as a teacher at a Pennsylvania uh, a cyber uh, charter uh, high school um, until the fall. Uh, she was allegedly sleeping with a student. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Now, what is that? You have kids that come into your classroom. They're looking for you for authority to learn. And you, you bring sex into it. Put them bitches in jail. All the teachers, female, that's this be sleeping with these students, they need to go to jail. Because that's wrong. And, you know, the men teachers, they get treated real bad. It's all over the news. The whole town knows. It's terrible. But when a woman does it, you know, to me, it's, it's done by, say, say, they sensationalize it. I do. When I think that the woman should go to jail. That's not right. These kids are here to learn. You know, it's bad enough they have hormones and things going on, you know. And then you're going to, I don't know. Well, anyway. Really bad. So bad. Okay. Uh, here's another. I'm almost done with the stories. Uh, these are the ones that I wanted to get out. Okay. A uh, foster mom allegedly left infant in a hot car uh, in a minivan uh, to go shopping, claiming she forgot the infant. 